So today we are in Oxford. It is a gorgeous sunny day. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all about this outdoor kitchen that we have just completed. So when we first arrived at this job to have a look, um, none of this was here at all. In fact, none of this fencing was here. Well, there was has fencing, but it was just old style fencing. They had a hedge along there. None of this batten, this slatted look. Um, there was actually a gate there, which we used to bring all the materials in. So the patio was down um, and this, um, these planters here, these sleepers, they continued all the way along there and there were some steps along there. Um, the patio was all down. Um, so we basically had a blank canvas so what we did is we built this using concrete blocks. It's an L-shaped construction. Um, the client, Tom, he wanted it to finish in line with the end of the fence there, which is what we did. Um, this gate over here has now been blocked up because they don't use it anymore. And they fenced over it with this hit and miss buttons. Um, so we brought and we took away the steps and we brought the kitchen right to the very end here to make the most of the space that they've got here. So like I said before, we, we built this using concrete blocks, which is pretty much what we use for most of our kitchens. Um, and then we've used a monocouche render on here. So I think this is the chalk color, which is like the whitest um, color render that they do. So with monocouche render, the color is in the render. It's a silicone render. The render comes, silica, uh, comes um, with color in it. You never have to paint it or anything like that. Once it's on, that is it. You don't have to paint it. So the worktops on these, we have used porcelain slabs. So when you're designing and building an outdoor kitchen, one of the biggest costs of a kitchen are the worktops. So normally we would have granite or we have decked on or something, and it costs thousands and thousands of pounds. So a really good alternative, which will save you a bunch of money, is to use porcelain tiles. So these are the sort of tiles that you would use on your patio floor. Um, they generally, well, they come in lots of different sizes, but the most common size is a 600 by 900, which is two foot by three foot. Um, they're 20 mil thick, um, and they're just really, really good for outside. Um, so. The only downside to using these is that you have um, joins in between each one. But you can see, you know, the way this has been laid, it's all butted up very tightly together. You can't really notice it, but you've got a really hard wearing um, surface to, to cook on. You can put all your hot things on there as well. Um, it's worth noting also that um, when designing this kitchen, and if you're thinking of designing one yourself, the, the measurement of this L section here, I actually did it so that with these slabs in mind, we didn't have to cut any of them. We could have full slab, full slab, full slab, and then the only cut was on the end there. And you'll notice that we've got uh, an island, an overhang here. So when building this section here, we built that, uh, I think it was six, 700 mil, so that you could have an overhang on there and create that bar area without having to cut any of these. So all of the edges are all the machined edges um, that the tiles came with. So looking at all the doors, the appliances and things like here, underneath the island, we have got uh, just a door there, which is just storage. So you've got barbecue covers in here and then you've got a double drawer here um, just for keeping all the utensils and things like that, stainless steel. Coming along to here in the corner section here where we've cut out, you've got the green egg. The customer had this already. Um, so this is a Kamado oven, a brilliant piece of kit. Same as the monoliths. It will slow cook, it will sear. You can cook pizzas on it. Lots and lots of different ways of cooking. Um, underneath, you've got a log store love putting log stores they probably don't ever use these logs for this but it just looks really really good aesthetically I always think with pizza ovens with Kamados in the corner with log stores underneath it's really nice to look at and it's a bit of a like a center point for the for the kitchen Coming along to here, you've got your beef heated double fridge. Nice to see that's full of booze. Um, down the bottom there, they've got a barrel here, uh, which goes with this thing. This is the first I've seen uh, of one of these in, that our customer has in one of our kitchens. So this is basically gonna pull you the perfect pint. Uh, so inside, you put this barrel in there, it keeps it really cold. You can choose the temperature of your beer from zero to 12 degrees. Um, put it under there, pint glass, the perfect pint every time. Uh, coming along to here, this is the beef, eater 1600 
S series. So I have actually done a review of this in our showroom. So if you are interested in this barbecue, check that review out. I'll leave a link up there. Um, this is a fantastic barbecue. It's four burner. There is a, a five burner version available as well. It's stainless steel, stainless steel down here. These are cast iron grids. You've got a flat plate and you've got a grill. You've got the vaporizers underneath there, a warming, um, a warming shelf at the back there. Uh, it's just a really sleek and contemporary looking barbecue. I, I'm a big fan of those. I really, really like them. So I think it's incredible, um, the transformation from when we first started with this blank canvas. Um, and now that the customers, the clients have now, they've got their outdoor sofas here, they've got the fire pit, they've got this outdoor rug, they've got a parasol here. They've put lighting all the way around. And actually what I didn't mention earlier is on the underside of the worktops, they've got LED lights along here. So at nighttime, the whole thing lights up and it just looks incredible. So if you wanna follow me over here as well, I'll show you the rest of the garden because it looks so good. Um, this, I'm not sure if I've got a picture of what this looked like before, but like I said, the customer, he had his own landscapers. In fact, I'll tag the landscapers in the description below. They've done an amazing job. So they've got all these sleepers in along here. Uh, they've dug out all the stuff was along the back, put this white pebbling. You've got all these bay trees along here. That looks beautiful. Brand new lawn along there. They got, it looks like, I don't know if that's Buxus, those little bulls there. Some bigger bay trees down there. The whole thing just looks so modern and contemporary and, and inviting. And they, they put all this um, hit and miss battening on and then they painted it this like urban sort of brownie color, I guess. And it works really well with the space that it's in. It looks absolutely incredible. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video half as much as we've enjoyed making the kitchen and the video itself. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and hit the like button as well if you've enjoyed this, this, this video. It really, really helps us. It helps the channel. Um, if you want to see more of the stuff that we're currently up to, head over to Facebook and Instagram. We've got accounts over there. We try and post on there a couple of times a week showing you what we're currently up to you know, at the time that we're doing it. So thanks very much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.